What's going on movie addicts, welcome back to a brand new episode on our channel. Today we'll be reviewing a thriller movie entitled Case 39. Opening of the movie we see social worker Emily Jenkins advising a couple to stop their violent activity and in front of their son Diego. The couple agrees to Emily's advice and promises to take care of their son. Due to the high assignment volume Emily busted and feels so tired of making phone calls. Somehow, she managed to complete 38 cases and decide to take a break. But the boss Wayne wants her to investigate the 39th case of family 10-year-old Lilith Sullivan, as her grades have declined and an emotional rift with her parents has emerged. Emily is interested in the Lilith Sullivan case file. So carried the case file along with her home. She meets her boyfriend Doug and Doug demands Emily only for a physical relationship. Doug gives her two months to think about it and then he leaves the club. After reaching home Emily read the case file of Lilith and plans to visit the family. She knocks on the door and asks both father and mother to join the conversation. Emily assumes it's the result of family problems. But Eddie behaves very rudely and shows his anger face to Emily. When Emily asks for the reason but Eddie whispers to Margaret that Emily has to leave the place since they don't need Emily's help. Emily suspects that the parents have been mistreating Lilith, but there is no bruise or other abusive marks. She later meets her boss Wayne and proposes to her department to take the child away from her parents' custody. But the boss denies her request. Attempting to save Lilith Emily meets her friend Baron and seeks his help to save the girl. At first, Baron denies that he cannot help her because the law needs proper evidence. Emily argues to Baron to do something under humanity but still Baron claims for the proper evidence because the court already sued him for several rescue cases. Emily returns home. While attempting to call her boyfriend, Lilith calls Emily at night and asks for help. Lilith says she is falling asleep and she heard her parents saying burn her to the hell. According to Emily Lilith will be burned alive in a couple of hours. She then dials back to the office and no one responds she then calls Baron and asks for his help. Baron reaches the spot and where Emily confirmed when Lilith's parents try to kill her by roasting her in the oven at their home. Emily saves Lilith with the help of Detective Mike Barron. Lilith is originally sent to a children's home, but she begs Emily to look after her instead. Emily replies to Lilith that she is not a mom material to take care of her and he has a lot of work to do which cannot leave her attached to a family. Emily reaches back home and thinks all day and night and with the agreement of the board, Emily is assigned to take care of Lilith until a suitable foster family comes along. In the meantime, Lilith's parents, Edward and Margaret, are placed in a mental institution. Not too long after Lilith moves in, strange things begin to happen around Emily. Two weeks later, another of Emily's cases, a boy named Diego, suddenly murders his parents, and Baron informs Emily that somebody phoned Diego from her house the night before the crime. As she is suspected of involvement in the incident, Lilith undergoes a psychiatric evaluation by Emily's boyfriend, Douglas. During the session, Douglas asks Emily a few questions. However, Lilith turns the evaluation around, asking Douglas what his fears are. Douglas replies on his childhood he put his hands on hornet nest and got attacked so still the fear is following him. Lilith observes his fear and leaves the place. Emily asks Douglas about the evaluation Douglas replies that Lilith was threatening him. That night while studying he receives a strange phone call in his apartment, he picks the call and hears someone whisper. He cuts the call and feels uneasy something is inside his ears. He rushes to the bathroom and panicked by the sight of a mass of hornets coming out of his body and kills himself in his bathroom by snapping his own neck. Emily gradually becomes fearful of having Lilith in her home, so she heads to the mental asylum for answers from Lilith's parents. They tell her that Lilith is a demon who feeds on feelings and tortures and kill and that they tried to kill her in an attempt to save themselves. Lilith's father tells Emily that the only way to kill Lilith is to get her to sleep. Shortly after Emily leaves the asylum, but she never slept in 10 years and she slept the day where she was rescued by Baron and Emily. Eddie explains both parents die in unusual circumstances and his family and relatives got killed when Lilith grew up. Hearing all this information Emily is frightened and leaves the place. Lilith gets all this information and Lilith's mother is fatally burnt in her cell and her father is stabbed in the eye with a fork after attacking a fellow inmate through whom the voice of Lilith spoke. Baron initially thinks Emily should seek psychiatric help but connecting all the points he comes to know that she is the devil and the only way to stop her is by killing her, he pulls a shotgun from his cupboard and moves down to the office. But is later convinced when he receives a strange phone call in his home from Emily's cell phone, which is being used by Lilith. He arms himself at the police precinct to aid Emily in handling Lilith. However, he inadvertently shoots himself in the head with a shotgun when Lilith makes him imagine he is being attacked by dogs. 
After realizing all her closest colleagues have been eliminated, this prompts Emily to serve Lilith tea spiked with sedatives. While Lilith is asleep, Emily sets fire to her house, hoping to get rid of her. However, the girl escapes unharmed. A police officer escorts Emily and Lilith to a temporary place to sleep. As Emily is following the police cars, she suddenly takes a different route and drives her car at a high speed, hoping to bring fear to Lilith. Instead, Lilith forces Emily to relive her childhood memory of her mother driving fast in a rainstorm. Emily fights through the memory, telling herself that it is not real. The image fades, and Emily asks Lilith if she is afraid. Lilith now appears afraid as she knows that Emily is no longer afraid. Emily then drives the car off a pier. As the car sinks, Emily struggles to lock Lilith in the trunk by folding the rear seats against her. Emily then exits the car, but as she swims away, Lilith grabs her leg after punching a hole through the car's left tail light section. Emily struggles to break free until Lilith finally lets go as the car continues to sink. She climbs back ashore, relieved to be rid of her. Thanks for watching. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel for a more interesting videos. Bye.